And then for Lipe, Ana Gomez, please, Ana. Commissioner, as well, my full support and thanks for the, the role you played and your services in, in bringing about this list uh, in line with what the Parliament has clearly requested you. Um, and uh, my questions have to do with, uh, uh, indeed, the kind of pressures that uh, may be explaining why member states are acting as they are acting. And I'd like to ask you in particular if you feel that there is pressure uh, to take out Saudi Arabia, and that is what is playing a role. Uh, and there is pressure from the United States. I was in the United States last week, and I know that FinCEN and the U.S. administration was very cross with several uh, uh, American uh, administration and admi under American administration territories that are in the list. And in this respect, I'd like to ask you why uh, states of the U.S. that are well known for, indeed, money laundering uh, uh, n n due to their lax in cooperation system, namely uh, Delaware, Nevada, Montana, Wyoming, are not there. I mean... Delaware, I know that they adopted laws recently to, to strengthen uh, the, the lines. Maybe the Delaware is probably a, a, a case going in the right direction, but the others have not followed. Uh, another case that, uh, to me, was surprising that it is not there is Russia, and uh, colleagues have made reference to uh, uh, the latest revelations uh, of the Troika, so-called Troika laundromat, that where, of course, the origin is Russia, but then it's all our banks, uh, Yukio bankers in Lithuania, Nordia in Finland, or, uh, Austria, Raffaisen, uh, German uh, banks like Commerzbank and Deutsche Bank, and even the American Citibank. And um, so I would like to understand what do you know about the reasons why member states are now suddenly objecting to this and if it is connected with particular pressure on these countries, Saudi Arabia, US, Russia. Uh, well, although Russia is not there, but of course, uh, uh, the, on Russia, my question is why Russia is not there. Um, I just would like to say that I'm not surprised, having been part of the negotiations of the fourth and the fifth anti-money laundering, often I complained inside uh, to our negotiators, but also even by tweeting, that how outraged I was that to see that our member states behave as not someone really wanting to f fight money laundering, but indeed facilitate money laundering. And not only facilitate money laundering, as the upper co-father said, it's about facilitating the financing of terrorists. I think it's outrageous that our member states act in this way. This is the, city, the security of our citizens that are at stake. They have often used security for other purposes in a very nasty way to, for instance, put in question the privacy of citizens or uh, even blackmail the parliament in several things. And it's quite outrageous that in this particular case, okay. they need to be exposed, and I do it again. Their business is not to fight money laundering, it's indeed to facilitate money laundering. Okay. That's why we in Europe are indeed a huge tax haven.